Friends, it is Friday, November 20, 2020. There it is. It is 11 20, 2020. Kind of, kind of got a bit of a ring to it today. And I'm going to take a little drink of tea here. Gets me started in the morning. Uh, I want to read you one verse, favorite verse of mine in the New Testament. It says, There was a Levite, a native of Cyprus, Joseph, to whom the apostles gave the name Barnabas, that means son of encouragement. Well, uh, a Levite, as we know, is someone of a particular tribe that, that specialized, was given the special job by God of working in uh, the temple. We think of Levites, we associate them with the Levitical work, uh, with the book of Leviticus, and the Levitical work that went on in the temple with sacrifices. And Cyprus is, of course, a little island, um, and um, it's, uh, it's a very beautiful place. And we meet someone in this verse whose name is Joseph, Joe, and he comes from Cyprus. He's also of this uh, Levitical, uh, but he's a little member of the tribe of Levi by birth. And he gets a new name. And there's a lot in this name, Barnabas. It, 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 it literally means to be translated a person of encouragement, an encourager. So that's a great name to be given, isn't it? We all love encouragement. We love those moments when um, someone is cheering for us. I mean, I had the fun joy. I remember uh, when I was joining teams in middle school and high school, I remember the first time uh, I woke up one morning and I, I walked out, you know, groggy. I was not a morning person. I was going to walk to the bus and I look out in my yard and it's been decorated with signs and streamers and all this stuff because we had a big match coming against an arch rival and in the night, the cheerleaders had come by and decorated my house before this big game, this football game. And it was kind of like, wow, I mean, people are cheering for us here. Uh, you know, it gave me a whole different uh, energy as I went to the, to the bus that day and thought about the game that was coming. It's so vital. Uh, every great performer you've ever seen in sports, in music, whatever it is, in the arts, somebody encouraged them. We had the joy a few uh, days ago of celebrating the, uh, the anniversary of uh, a wonderful person, Katrina, who's on our staff, and she's been here 25 years, so almost five times longer than me. And she is a wonderful person, and we, 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 were, we were given an idea of, of celebrating with art. So we gathered our team, and we brought in an artist, and he had us... Uh, look at some panels of art. We each had a little panel to create, and so we imitate it, but uh, we're allowed to do our own thing a bit with a particular panel. We put the panels together, and they created a picture. It was, uh, it was really quite an amazing moment, and it couldn't have happened for me unless I got a lot of encouragement from the teacher because my fine motor skills are terrible and I have trouble managing anything that's, that's artistic of that kind, but it, it came out okay. I had a lot of encouragement. Barnabas was an encourager and that's a gift we can all exercise and I love that. It's what I call a democratic spiritual gift is everyone can do it. They can do it in a family setting, in schools, wherever they are. They can be a person that is encouraging, that sees gifts and encourages them. Barnabas did it with Paul. That helped him uh, get accepted by the disciples and go on to be a missionary and a writer in the New Testament. He, he did it with Mark, who wrote down uh, Peter's reminiscences that became the Gospel of Mark. He did this for people throughout his life, and it's a beautiful thing. Maybe you and I can be people, sons and daughters of encouragement. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for Barnabas, for his example, for the, the, the wonderful new name that he got, and help us to be, to be a little bit of Barney to rub off on all of us today. So we find a moment today where in a written way or a verbal way or a phone call or a message, we're going to be a person of encouragement. Maybe it'll be just the way we smile at people today, but let us be blessed to be a blessing. We ask it in Jesus' name. Amen.